most of this video is probably going to be for Cowboys fans. Um, but uh, first off, to the to the Niners fans, I really don't have anything negative to say about y'all's team. I, I still I still have a lot of animosity from the '90s. Even when we get together, it, it's still you still feel that classic emotion between the Cowboys and the, and the 49ers. Um, but really, you know, for y'all's team, y'all are going to win the NFC South. Um, I don't. I think the Niners are a great football team. I think you guys will be in the playoffs this year, um, and you're not a team people want to see. Um, Alex Smith impressed me. Um, I, you know, I don't think he's a great quarterback. I don't think most people do think he's a great quarterback. Um, but for the most part today, he did his job and didn't make a lot of mistakes. Um, and, of course, Frank Gore, who didn't have huge numbers, but he's always, always a, a, a threat. Um, and, and, and with, with, with Harbaugh's uh, philosophy of, of ball control, you couldn't ask for a better back. And the defense was constantly pressuring, uh, pressuring Dallas, um, getting good hits on Tony Romo. I mean, it was, it was a flurry. And for us to come out of that game with a win um, is – it's hard to put words to it because this was one of the best wins that the Cowboys have had in a long time. So Niners fans, I think, you know, it's easy for me to say this right now because I'm on the winning side, um, but I will say that y'all have a very good football team, and I think that San Francisco, I think one of the commentators even said, you look 10 weeks down the road and you see where the Niners are, uh, they'll probably be one of the, uh, you know, a team really competing in the NFC. Now, Tony Romo, you know, last week, um, you know, he had a bad, bad fourth quarter and deserved criticism for what he did, uh, fumbling the ball on the goal line, uh, throwing a pick that should have been thrown. But I have a hard time criticizing Tony Romo because of Cowboys fans. It's hard to talk about the guy and, and be honest, you know, say, hey, man, he didn't play well this day, whatever without having in the background, yeah, I know he sucks. We need to put in Stephen McGee. Ah, just tank the season, get Andrew Luck. So it makes me have to really, really keep pushing how good this guy is and what he means to this football team. And if today wasn't enough to show you, I don't know what is. Romo goes in, his first drive looks awesome. He's hitting everything. I think he was 7 for 8, 6 for 7, something like that, 73 yards. Gets down to the goal line. Jason Garrett calls a timeout for some reason. Looked like we were going to be able to run it in. It was a fade to Miles. Uh, could have been pass interference, whatever. Didn't make it. And then Dan Bailey from Oklahoma State uh, misses a 21-yarder. Um, I am glad that Bailey was able to redeem himself. You know, you don't want to just keep be harsh on one guy, but it, that was that was pretty rough right there. After that, Romo went for like 0 for 7, 0 for 8, and it looked weird. Uh, you know, even for even for all you Cowboys fans who talk a lot of crap about Romo, that's one thing you usually don't see from him is him not completing passes. Sometimes he throws picks, but he's usually moving the ball down the field. Come to find out, he's got a fractured rib. Now, we don't know the extent of the injury, but it was enough to pull him out of the third quarter. And... It really looked like we were we were down and out, and, and John Kitna came in, and I, this is not going to be a, a John Kitna bash fest here, because I'm not going to be turned against uh, be turned against our guys uh, like some of you Cowboys fans want to do. Um, but you know, Kitna comes in, throws that pig, miscommunication with him and Witten, uh, comes down though and throws another great uh, touchdown to Miles Austin, and um, you know keeps us in the ball game. And then throws a bad pick there um, in our own territory and sets up a score for the Niners. Um, and then in the fourth, nearly at the end of the third quarter, after we've been told Romo is done for the day, who's asking for his helmet on the sidelines? Tony Romo. And he comes in. Doesn't have a great series to start off, but we know he's back. And we know this team believes in him. And then in the fourth quarter, the quarter that he gets so much grief for, even though he has over 100 passer rating in the fourth quarter. But I understand where the criticism comes from. He puts on a performance that this team needed from you know last year's debacle because we did not need to lose this game or we might have spiraled down into what that was last year. And with the help of Jason Witten and mainly Miles Austin, who Miles Austin was amazing today, three touchdowns, uh, all of them were great catches. Um, really was stepping up for, our, for the guys. 
But Romo comes in, and I think, and, and, and was never rattled at one point. You could tell he was hurting, and he stuck in there and won this ball game, or helped this team win this ball game. In overtime, you know, the first play of the overtime for the Cowboys, bomb pass to Jesse Holly, And, you know, they kept showing it, and I, I think that's a testament to this team. And I think this is what, what some of the Cowboys fans don't understand when they say things like, we need to bench Tony Roma and get him off the team. He has grown into a leader on this team. And people on the younger guys like Jesse Holly look up to Tony Romo. And you saw that on the sidelines. He went to him before he started playing. And we don't know what he was saying, but it's pretty poignant that he was able to, he was talking to Jesse Holly about, looked like he was talking about him being a factor in this offense. And you saw him, the first two, first two passes were to Holly. And then the, the one that clinched it was him to him as well. To all the Cowboys fans who understand that in the end, this is the right guy for this team, it's a day of vindication for us. Does it settle it? No, because he still does have to win the big game and, and really give us a playoff run. But it does give us a little bit of clout to say we, we know what we're talking about. We know that this is not just another Quincy Carty or Carter or Drew Henson or, or whatever else was back then. This is a franchise quarterback. He's been starting for us for six years. And he has kept, kept this team afloat and kept this team from falling through the depths that we saw right after Aikman was left, Aikman retired. So, you know, to all the cow, and I, I, I just, if I seem a little more bitter than usual, it's because not just here, but, but all week, all week, I've had to hear Cowboys fans, and mainly it's older guys, because they all talk about Staubach and Aikman, and all, it's like those guys aren't here anymore. Like, this is the now, and right now Romo gives us the best, gives us the best chance to win. And, you know, and I know it, it feels like there's a lot of Cowboys fans who are, like, rooting against him. They want him to fail because they want to get someone else in there. And if that's you, then please go, go cheer for somebody else because it's really getting hard as a Cowboys fan who wants to see the entire team succeed and not see the quarterback fail. So, but in the end, great win for Dallas. I didn't know we were going to pull that thing out, scoring 10 points in the fourth quarter to, to tie it and then get that uh, field goal there at the end. Dan Bailey ended up making one from about the same spot. He missed the first one. Um, so, uh, great job, Cowboys. The defense stepped up there in the end. I think the Niners are a good football team, and we'll, we'll see that as the season goes on. But this is a big win. And next week against the Redskins, what we know about the Redskins so far is that this is not a team that will quit. The Redskins so far have played like a team that wants to win this division. They're talented and the best in the world, but they are gritty and they are going to fight you to the end like usual Redskins teams are. So we're in for a dogfight Monday night, but I'm glad our team captain is going to be up behind center. Hopefully we'll see how bad the injury is. So we'll see you guys later for all the real Cowboys fans. How about them Cowboys? We'll see you guys Monday night.